Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff, so let's get to it. Yesterday we talked a little bit about comping takes. Today I just had some other stuff that I wanted to add to bring everything together. So yesterday we recorded some takes. You can click on any take to select it or you can use K. Shift and K goes back. Now something you'd notice here is if I select all these items and I press K, it'll just unify them and that's not something we want. So I also have Control K cycles through the takes without making them all be the same thing. Cycle items to next take. You can right click on takes and lock them and now I can no longer change them. So I also have this little toolbar here that I use for my takes and that's because I normally don't like to just menu dive so instead I use this one. So the first option is this toggles whether I view all the takes or if I just view the active take. Some people may prefer this because it's less overwhelming. I can still switch between my takes. They haven't gone anywhere. I'm just seeing only the active one. This one is duplicate active take which I showed you what it does so if I have something like like this I duplicate the active take now they're all on the bottom this just locks the active take next one is unlock next one is delete active take and that's for like in the event where let's say I just know that this take I'm not gonna use any of it well I free up one lane and the last one is explode takes out items across tracks and really this should be the first one I mentioned we record a take so that we can be a hands-off performer right like we just pressed record we looped the section we played a bunch right once you're done with the recording if you don't like takes boom now they're just their own items and you can edit them totally normally as you would any other audio track. So takes are really useful for recording, especially if you record yourself, but you're not obligated to edit using takes. You can just explode takes across items and now you are just working with regular audio items. Totally up to you whether you want to edit using takes or not. So there's one part of your question that I haven't answered yet and that is edit together a solo from different takes. So let's look at that. So I have these takes here. They're different solos that I did. I want to come together or something from all of them. So for comping, I don't know who's used Logic Pro in the past, but Logic Pro's kind of take system is really nice. So I kind of tried to emulate it with Reaper a little bit. Right now I got a four measure solo. I'm gonna set my grid to half and then I'm gonna split items at timeline grid. So now I got these items split like this. Now what I can do is let's say I like this first part, I like this part, I like this part, and I like this part. When you split at regular intervals, you may lose the tail of a file a little there. So I can hold shift on the crossfade area between two items. And then I'll just bring it back so that the tail is in um, here. Let's say I want it back here. Um, let's say I want this fade to be bigger so I can go to exactly where they cross. And if I hold command, I can expand it or shrink it. So I'll expand it a little bit. Then I can, for example, come over here. I want to select this one. I want to just keep selecting this one. And maybe from here, I want to change it to this. And then let's say I want just the rest to continue from there. So this is what I'll do. And for this area, I'll just choose a little bit of silence. And now it looks like this. Quick comp. And now it starts here. It goes down here. Then it choose this one, this one, this one, this one. And it sounds like this. This, this is definitely the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. But I just, you know, I don't want to set up my guitar. So. so that works, right? And then again, from here, I can just lock all of these. You know, if you're done, done. So if I press Option, Shift, and T, it crops the active take. And now the rest of the takes are no longer there because we chose this comp and we were happy with it. So we just chose it and the rest are gone, which is super nice. And from here, I can, for example, glue it into an item or whatever I want to do. I actually like to do it a slightly different way just so that it's reversible. That said, I can always copy them and then take these copies and crop those to active take so I still have that but I'll show you my favorite way so you go to mouse modifiers you go to track and left drag and I've set it to option it's called draw a copy of selected media item if I click on any media item I can go anywhere to my track and I can just draw it I can also do it to a portion of a file so let's say I want to just copy this amount of the file onwards so I place my item cursor anywhere and as I drag it starts drawing a copy of this so this is really good if your project is really big and you want to copy a little bit here to a track way down there and maybe over here this is a good way of going about it so one really cool use of this could be for comping so let's say i did four takes of a recording i like this part of the first one so i just put my edit cursor on there and i just begin drawing you know until wherever i want then i can place my marker there and draw a little bit from there maybe from here i want to move to that item 
draw that out maybe from there i want to take a little bit of this and go all the way to the end and boom now i got a comp take and i still get to keep my original takes as they are so this can be totally done separately so that's a little bit on comping as i said feel free to record using takes and then just explode them into items and then edit normally as you do so in another episode i also want to discuss how to use takes when you are multi-track recording and some other creative uses that i personally have found for it so stay tuned for those have a good weekend and i'll see you on monday Bye bye